Ah, oh, what's up, everybody? Yeah, that's right. I got the army helmet on. Thanks to one of my live viewers to uh, verify that I needed my army helmet on. There's no joke around here. There's some serious stuff going on. Okay. I want to blow this contactor a little smithereens using electricity. Are you ready? Let me show you the contactor. Here's what I got. Yep. If this won't blow this thing up, I don't know what will. I've seen these shorted out. It ain't pretty. Let me give you the verified the information on here for you. Alright, pause the video and take a look. But it does give me a dead short rating, which is kind of cool. And let's see, where did I read that? Um, there we go. Short circuit rating, 5,000 amps at 600 volt. Now we are running at 330 volt for this test. I've got enough of these to do one one way and one the other. Maybe we'll test it with a higher voltage. See if we can way past our uh, five kilovolt range. Kill the amps, I mean. Um, and what I've got is this a 24 volt relay contactor. So I have to hook this up to a 24 volt power supply. Okay, 120 to 24 volts, and that is connected to the circuit charge and discharge resistor and capacitor bank. That's right, 10,000 joules of energy we're going to be testing with today. I may need to recalculate the way I've got them connected, but no, it's a thousand a piece and they're all in parallel. That's right. Doesn't matter the which way I hook it up as long as I got the same power rating. So yes, this is true. So what do I got here? For those of you who missed the video on how this circuit works, go back and watch it. I'm not going to go through the entire process again. Um, so what I've got though is I've got a contactor relay. This is to discharge and charge my capacitor bank. I've got both the charging and discharging go through the same resistor. This is just a heating element. It's probably about, I think it's 8 or 16 ohm resistor. Alright, so the timer circuit here, I will turn it on and show you. Um, this relay is really, really, really noisy. Maybe I can put a piece of paper in there and dampen it down, but it's just really loud. So if you hear some humming, it's just this. The charge portion of this, I'm actually going to activate the charging. I've got it hooked up to a voltmeter, which I can stand outside and view what voltage on that and wait till it charges. Um, that's hooked up to the variac running over here through these wires and connected here to this um, uh, contactor and resistor. This is my charge resistor. I'm also using it as my discharge resistor. This contactor is only on when I need it to be for the safety. So I got double safety on here and um, let me show you how that works. Right now it is hooked up. Let's go ahead and turn the first servo on. Try to get that thing quiet. Thing's really loud. Here, let me put a piece of tape on there. Hold on, I'm gonna cut the footage. Hold on. All right, I'm back. That didn't work. So forget about it. We'll just make it noisy. So this turns it on. Now I'm good. I can charge. And actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the contact relay to keep it charged. Now I'm gonna go outside and charge it up that way. And then when I'm ready to fire. I just hold this over and it goes through its sequencing. And then the only way to get the now it's discharging through the resistor. The only way to get it charged again is to release and recharge. So let me show you what the contactor is going to be doing close up. Alright, I'm firing it. This is how, this is the length I'll be having it contact closed. Okay, that's it. So let's get the camera set up. I want it set up so I can see these lights in the camera. And also that, but it might be a bad idea. Might just have to reference it because I want to be able to see what happens here. Uh, and I want it to make sure it's focused. So, let's turn off these lights to see how it looks. I've got that one light on. I think that'll be okay. Yeah, that'll be alright. Alright, I guess I'm going to go outside. Turn on my contactor. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to turn this on 60 frames a second. Let me switch it over. It's possible. Charger's on.
Everything else is on. See, I'm charging over there. I wonder if I'm discharging at the same time. Maybe I got my... No, I ain't got my resistor wrong. Hundred and sixty, hundred and seventy, hundred and eighty. See, I'm at 200 volts over here, and I'm only at 200. I'm just charging it too fast. That's all there is to it. So we're all right. Just need to go slower. So I'm at 250 here, and I'm only at 238 over there. 240. 260 here. 250 there. I'm just going too fast. We'll get there. We'll get there. 280 over there. Three hundred over there. Three twelve. Three seventeen. Three twenty. All right, we're at three hundred and thirty volts. Going outside. You think I could shrink quarters with that? Holy crap. Dude, that was freaking awesome. I'm at zero volts. My safety's worked. Everything's off. Charger actually shut off. Power's off to everything. We're good. Turning my remote off. And we're done. That was freaking amazing. Holy crap. I seriously am going to shut my door before somebody calls the cops. <laughs> Alright, so we're safe. I'm going to take off my helmet and turn on my uh, vent up there, my vent blower. I'll pause the footage. All right, well, you can see what my concrete looks like from the bottom side. 
and uh, it ended up right there. I didn't move anything. Um, there's one part of it. The other part was about outside. Uh, my wife said not to do that again because it woke up everybody in the house. Actually, it didn't wake up my kids, but my sister, my sister, my my wife said no more until daytime because it was like a very, very loud explosion. Unfortunately, this camera automatically dims the sound. Let's see what kind of damage we got. Move this chair. Alrighty. Well... Looks like they are welded together and there ain't a whole lot left. So, let's go ahead and <clears throat> take off these wires and see what kind of contact damage we got. I'd have to say, that was pretty intense. Even for me outside, that was crazy. Look at the, the wires actually melted to the terminals. Check that out. There's one of the contacts. It'll focus. Ain't much left of that bad boy. Let's pop this apart. Uh, that was a little different than I'm used to. Oh, there's, there's the clips. Alright, coil should still be good. I use that for recycled magnet wire. It's actually really good, number 26. Alright, let's see what we got here. Lots of black stuff. We like black stuff. Interesting. Well, I can't get it out without breaking these apart. So let's do a little cutting. There's one. <laughs> oh man. Those things are really bad in there. They're hard to see. Contacts will only come out. Wow, there's just nothing left of that contactor. That metal piece is gone. The actual head of it is gone. Oh man. I need to see what just one would look like.
All right, well, there's a set. I'd have to say it, it did better than I thought. Actually, it's this other one. Wherever it went. There it is. All right, we're done. I'm done. Hey, okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to have to wait until the morning. Got other tests I want to do tonight. So I'm going to have to do those first. And if I don't get back to it, this is the only one you'll get to see. I've still got this thing. This is a big contactor. And this thing, which will be fun because we can actually see what happens. All right, maybe we'll do one of them at a time. Wow, that looks like fun. All right. If I don't get to the next one, this is Russ, rwgresearch.com. That was a lot of fun. Kind of scary. I'll be honest. See?